Hi, welcome to my 4K SLI, 980 SLI benchmark of Tomb Raider with the NVIDIA Inspector Tweak for SLI, better SLI scaling. Now the reason I wanted to do this video is because the, this tweak does have a noticeable performance improvement uh, for DX11 of this game and if you're using Windows 10 you can have the option to run DX12 and I'm going to show that it actually doesn't work for DX12 um, so that's a bit of a hit. Anyway before we get into the benchmarking I'll just have a little bit of information here for you on what we're dealing with in terms of a system. Uh, we have basically what's in front of you here an overclocked uh, Z170 platform with a 6700K overclocked video card SSDs and I've included information here on the cooling because I wanted to show the uh, temperatures for running this game. I was kind of surprised how how much the CPU was really working um, and um, thought it would be useful information. And of course all this being done on Windows 10. Um, other things to note that um, yes I'll just show you quickly that I'm running about a 75 megahertz overclock via EVGA's Precision X um, power target 110% with a custom fan profile for both cards. Um, don't need to say much more about that. Uh, we're going to monitor CPU usage and temperatures in CPU uh, uh, hardware monitor from CPU ID. And show you now the tweak I'm talking about. Oh, before I do that, let's just take a look at the driver we're using. 364.72 from NVIDIA, uh, released in end of March, March 28th, so the most current driver. It's early April now, so we will also see this benchmark reflect patches to Tomb Raider as well. Uh, now, first of all, thanks to uh, DSOG Gaming um, for this tweak, Rise of the Tomb Raider. And uh, in particular, there's uh, a member here, uh, Rotex, uh, that is responsible for this tweak. So you need to download um, NVIDIA Inspector and, and do a couple of tweaks that I'll show you right now to the actual um, SLI profile for it or the actual... G um, driver profile. So if you open up NVIDIA Inspector and you search under here for the profiles, there's many profiles but you can just find Tomb Raider quite easily. This is the tweak you want to put in here in SLI compatibility bits to reflect this 8x080002F5 0800002F5, and you'll see that it's set over here. Then you need to click on this um, magnifying glass for an additional settings. Scroll down to the undefined profile settings where you will find this value 0x00A0694B and you want to set it to a bunch of zeros and a one at the end which is equivalent to Tom Clancy's Hawks 2 profile and you hit apply changes and more or less you're good to go and you can actually close the program at this point it will uh, it will still keep this um, uh, in its memory when you go to run the game I think, however, if you do update your driver, uh, you will have to reset these in NVIDIA Inspector. I've noticed that they, 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 didn't keep, they didn't stay after I updated my driver. Okay, so close that and we'll get on to some benchmarking itself. I don't think there's anything I need to show before the benchmark. Okay, good. Okay, let's just take a look at the options, the graphic options before we start the benchmark. Um, Full screen, um, this run we will not use DX12, this would be DX11 run, GTX 980s, uh, 4K, uh, VSync off, FXAA on, and other specific details. Generally a high setting, I reduce this a bit for a little bit better frame rate. Medium shadows, medium dynamic foliage, um, Otherwise, things are pretty s sort of uh, standard for the high preset and all of our, our um, eye candy for this game are on, except film grain, which I doesn't really add much. I just don't really like it very much, so I turned it off. So that's, that's it. Let's get on to the benchmark then. Okay, here we go with the 
benchmark DX11. Put the counter on just a couple times during this screen capture video just to uh, show you what we're getting time to time. Okay, about 68 frames on that one. And shadow play really not having an effect, about the same, so that's good. 68 frames above 60. But now we move to the DX12, and you have to restart your game with DX12. And I couldn't record this using shadow play because it doesn't work with DX12 as far as I can tell. So um, I'm just gonna have to give you a screeny and it was really 37 frames with DX12, so a big hit using that uh, option. Now, temp uh, CPU usage, uh, almost 100%, not quite, 80, 90% at times, dropping to a 60, 70%. Temperatures up to 70, but you know, anywhere from 61 to 70 on the 6700K. So yeah, that's a fair amount of, of uh, CPU usage. Okay, thanks for tuning in.